Good evening. We're happy to have you join us for the 2023-24 Open House at La Villa School of the Arts. I'm Kimberly Harrison, the new principal, and I feel honored to be part of this amazing team and family. As you go through the schedule this evening, please remember that you need to check your focus account or maybe your student wrote down the schedule for you. Please make sure you follow the schedule this evening for first period through eighth period. You will have eight minutes in each class and five minutes to transition between classes, just like our students. This evening, please remember that we want you a chance to experience and visit each of the classes. This would not be a time to hold parent conferences. So if you need a conference, just get with the guidance counselors or your child's teacher to schedule those. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I'd like to share some important information with you as we get started. La Villa's Guideline for Success. We expect everyone to appreciate the arts, respect differences, take responsibility, and stay motivated. We are a family here at La Villa, so we want to make sure we're looking out for each other. Staying informed at La Villa is so important. We hope that you will download the new Blooms app, where you will receive text messages, emails, and call-outs. If you don't have the new app installed, you still receive messages via text and email as long as your information is correct and focus. Remember on one view, you can update your information, but this does not connect with focus. To make changes in focus for your address, phone number, and email, you must visit the school or you can email wilsonv1 at duvalschools.org. Please include a valid driver's license picture or ID picture to change information. Please join our social media page on Facebook and Instagram, the La Villa School of the Arts. Syntegix is our new safety and security system. A reminder that we can help track students in case of an emergency. Please make sure students have their ID badge and they keep that on them at all times on campus. Remember replacement is $10, so hang on to those badges. Students enrolled in extended day may arrive starting at 7 a.m. Student arrival for any student not in extended day does not begin until 7.45 a.m. Please follow all of the traffic patterns in front of the school for our car arrival. Please make sure students do not exit the vehicle before entering the car line. Students should have their belongings ready to go. Please be patient and kind. I know everyone is in a rush in the morning. Students walking up should not cross traffic without an adult. Registration for bus transportation is on the parent focus account. Bus stops are determined based on registration. Please remember that at the bus stops and school hubs, students must follow all student code of conduct rules. Dismissal is important as well, so make sure you know that students are released at 3.20 p.m. on regular school days and 1.35 p.m. on early dismissal days. Walkers that have parents walking up to get them in the afternoon will exit out of our theater doors. Car riders will exit out the main office doors, and they should be looking for their cars and lined up along the sidewalk grass area. We ask that the students do not go past the theater to load. Please make sure you're not asking your students to walk down the street and load in the car because this is a safety issue. Bus riders will be called by the correct wave and they must pay attention and listen for their bus number. Please in the afternoon, if your bus is late getting here, seat with your other bus mates so that you will leave all together and no one is left behind. Extended day is available in the afternoons if needed. Please make sure your student knows their contact information and ways to get in touch with you in case there is a problem. Student check-in and check-out procedures. Students arriving after 8.40 a.m. will need to report to the front office for a tardy. No checkouts are allowed after 2.40 p.m. or 12.45 p.m. for early dismissal days. A person picking up the student must be listed in focus. You must have your valid picture ID with you. Students must be signed out in the office. Student code of conduct updates. All secondary students must have a visible school ID card on grounds transportation or school sponsored events. Hay coverings are not allowed unless for religious observation or required by a physician. Halter tops, tank tops, backless tops, and tops with thin or no straps that show the midriff or expose the body are prohibited. Our school district created a great visual for students to remind them of the dress code. Please make sure you review these points with your student and check each morning. It's a great idea to have a discussion with your student the night before about their attire and what they will wear to school. Students in grades six and seventh must pass all courses. Grades seventh and eighth must maintain an unweighted 2.0 GPA and pass all courses. 
and a reminder that any student at La Villa must earn a C or higher in their arts area classes. Our world's finest chocolate school-wide fundraiser is ready for kickoff next week. We're asking that each student help us sell a box of chocolates. There are 60 candy bars included for a dollar each. All money and candy would be returned by September the 27th. Our goal is to earn $15,000 to help for supplies. Students will only be given a box of chocolates if their parent signs the permission form to be included in the fundraiser. Get your smile ready. Monday, September the 11th is School Picture Day. Order your fall portraits and your yearbook today. Don't forget, our yearbook is always a treasure of memories. Thank you for coming this evening, and we hope you have a wonderful open house experience, and we're so glad you're part of our LaVilla family. Hello, and welcome to Open House. This is Mrs. Geis, and I am your student's health teacher. Some of the subjects that we will be covering this year are nutrition, mental health, violence prevention, tobacco, alcohol, drugs, and reproductive health. If you have any questions about the curriculum, please reach out to me, or you can look on the DCPS website. All of your students' work can be found on Teams. If they are missing a day, they can also find the notes and the bell ringer prompt. Any issues regarding behavior and cell phone infractions can be found on Focus, or I will email or give you a phone call personally. The biggest rule in my classroom is no cell phones, and this is to create a safe and welcoming environment for everyone. Their cell phones go into a bin in the middle of their table at the beginning of class. If you have any concerns about your student or you need to contact me, please feel free to email me at geisc at dufallschools.org and please give me 24 hours to reply Monday through Friday. Thank you and let us have a great school year ahead. Welcome to the open house for the 2023-2024 school year. We are here to give an overview of Mr. McLean's PE class. Almost every student here at La Villa has Mr. McLean for PE. If you don't have PE, if your child doesn't have PE semester, they likely will next semester. We'll be learning about many different sports and fitness. Sixth grade will explore topics including agility, speed, power, balance, coordination, reaction time, body composition, flexibility, cardiorespiratory endurance, and muscular strength and endurance. Seventh grade focuses on four team sports, flag football, basketball, volleyball, and softball. Eighth grade concentrates on the individual and dual sports of jumping rope, flying disc, racket sports, and track and field. Students will primarily be graded on preparedness, effort, and participation. In order for students to participate in optimum level, students will need to dress in, the prop in proper clothing and footwear. Also, you need to dress in shorts or tight pants and sneakers with laces. The villa does not have a water bottle outside, so please make sure to send your children to school with water bottles to stay hydrated. We will be outside every day with our friends. Here at Villa, we mainly focus on the arts. That's why we're all here. We're limited on space and equipment for our PE program, but we make the most of what we have. If you'd like to help out by purchasing equipment off of our wish list, please come by the PE table in the dining hall and scan the QR code. If you have any questions for Mr. McLean, he will be there too. Please come by and introduce yourself. Thank you. Mm -hmm.